right, so Darlington has been voted the seventh best place to live in the UK. And where is Darlington? Darlington is located in the county of Durham in the northeast of England. And it's just about 15 minutes by car and 30 minutes by bus from my current location. You saw the recent vlog I put up when my family and myself were in Darlington just on a tour within the town center. I have been to Darlington for like 10 to 15 times lately and it's a beautiful town. It's like a city if you ask me, but then it's a town. Though the town center is so large that anyone visiting Darlington for the first time would actually mistake it for a city in England. Meanwhile, why would anyone choose to move to Darlington? This is why I am making this content to let you know why Darlington has been voted as the seventh best place to live in England. A lot of things, a lot of factors were taken into consideration. Factors such as cost of living in Darlington, security or how safe it is to live in Darlington, availabilities of work, cost of renting, and then the most beautiful thing about Darlington which was considered was also the tourism attractions in Darlington. These are all I shall be discussing in this content. Please stay tuned, subscribe to my channel, like this video, hit the notification bell icon so that you'll be notified each time I upload a new video. Now, coming to the cost of living in Darlington, the affordability of Darlington is one of the reasons why Many people choose to live in Darlington because cost of living is relatively affordable compared to some of the cities or towns in the UK. What is the cost of renting an apartment in Darlington? Well, the cost of renting a three-bedroom apartment, for instance, varies, depends on the location, possibly the city center, off the city center, or in the countryside of Darlington. It varies according to zupla.co.uk you can get a three-bedroom apartment for the price of £375 in a month, which is relatively affordable as against what you could get in some other towns. In some other towns. However, this is just the average lowest rent for a three-bedroom apartment. Recently, a friend of mine who is a student, yes, a family, she found an apartment in Darlington and she is paying 500 for three bedrooms. So, it could go as far as 700 800 but the average rent is 375 in a month you might even get something lesser than that depending if you are living in the rural or the countryside of Darlington I have passed through a countryside of Darlington where there were this advert about job vacancies and all what may I got scared because I couldn't actually find myself staying in such places there are just a single track road oh no Though there are all the social amenities and the town center is not just far from this countryside, but that notwithstanding, I don't think I would love to live in a countryside of any city or location in the Western world. Yeah. Another thing is cost of buying food in Darlington. It's relatively affordable, coming as low as £48, £60 per week for a household. You know, it's something very fascinating, having in mind that living in Darlington, especially cost of living, is very low. Let's talk about the average monthly salary after tax in Darlington. It's the sum of £1,781 in a month. This could be for the lowest salary earner in Darlington, not all. Because I know someone who is currently working in Darlington and the person's take home is about 3,000 So transport system in Darlington is another fascinating reason why anyone would like to move to Darlington because I've been to London for about three times and I had to always get to Darlington before traveling to London. So Darlington is just two and a half hours away by train to London. And the railway system also has this great connectivity from Darlington to places like Manchester, Edinburgh, York, Leeds, and different cities within 
England. I would also like to mention that places like Yorkshire, Durham, Dell, and Tea Valleys, you know, people who live within these places, they also commute from Darlington to these places. And where I am currently staying, people who live in my location or people who live in Middlesbrough also work in Darlington. And people who study in Teesside University I have met a couple of students who live in Darlington, yet their university is in Middlesbrough. So it's just within bridge. And uh, mostly, most of these commuters travel just by bus. The Arriva is a bus that is very common in Darlington. Unlike in Stockton or Middlesbrough, where you have the stagecoach, the Arriva. But basically, in Darlington, they have a river and it travels from Darlington to Middlesbrough to different places, even Durham, you know. So it is very much a good place for anyone to relocate to with family or as a single individual. What to do in Manchester? There are this historic, you know, places of attraction and sites in Darlington. The Dolphin Center is one of these places of which we were there during our last term. Um, visit to Darlington about three weeks ago. We, I took my little one to Dolphin Center to have a play, indoor play place, which is so beautiful. A lot of activities, even aquatic climb, swimming, gym facilities right inside the Dolphin Center. And secondly, the Hippodrome is another place of sightseeing in Darlington. We also visited this place. It's a place for musical display, concerts, and all what have you, live shows. You know, it, it, it's indeed a beautiful place worth stopping by to see in Darlington. So they also have the Head of Steam. This is a railway museum where you can learn about the history of railway and the founders of these railways. Next is the Rebbe Castle. This is a beautiful ancient castle in Darlington. My son was on a school excursion to this very Rebbe Castle. Yes, we would have visited there, the last place we went to, Darlington, but time was against us. But from this place to that place, it's not far like I stated. Thus, my little boy and the rest of his classmates visited this castle on excursion one of the days. We also have places like the Darlington Trade Station, the South Park, the Taunton Garden, and a whole lot of places you could see in Darlington. The town center is another beautiful place. The town clock tower and the town hall, a whole lot of them you could stop by and uh, feel your eyes. And there are loads of um, the shopping mall there, which is the windmill, another popular shopping mall in Darlington. We were there the last time and I had visited there a couple of times. Coming to schools in Darlington, there are loads of primary schools and secondary schools in Darlington. And remember, surprisingly, Darlington is also a home to Teesside University. Why? Because Teesside is very close. If a lot of students... In Teesside University, they live in Darlington. This is why Darlington is a home to Teesside University, as well as Middlesbrough, where the university is situated. Now, here comes the major question you might be asking. Is it safe to live in Darlington? Mm. Interestingly, Darlington is the safest major town in Durham. Among the 169 towns, villages, and cities in Durham, Darlington came 20 folds among the most dangerous overall in all these 169 towns, villages, and cities in Durham. It's not as if there are no crimes in Darlington, but the most major crimes, just like it came 24th in position, is just, you know, violent sexual offenses and a few other minor crimes within the city of Darlington precisely. Meanwhile, you have seen that from all the factors I've listed so far, Darlington is so affordable. The affordability nature of it is the major reason why people move to Darlington. Okay, I would also love to relocate to Darlington outside of this place because I found it quite calm, cool, especially the environment, this town center, it's calming, welcoming, friendly. You know, this is a kind of place I would love to live and for the fact that it is relatively affordable. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this content helped you in making decision whether to relocate to Darlington or not. Yes, subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Like this video, it's very important to me on YouTube. Yeah. And drop your comments in the comment section. I would respond to it all to them. 
if it is something I can reply directly. If not, I would come up with videos in response to your questions. Thank you once again and bye for now.